Have you ever thought that Christmas began on a silent night in Bethlehem? Well, Christmas actually began long before that in the mind of God, when He first gazed into the emptiness of infinity and imagined an amazing world. Then He spoke. That was the beginning. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the world, and the world was made through Him, but the world did not know Him. He came to those who were His own, but His own did not recognize Him nor receive Him. But to all those who did receive Him and believe in His name, He gave them the right to become children of God. The Word became flesh and made His home among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Then the Lord created a man he named Adam and gave him a woman to love and called her Eve. He placed them in a beautiful garden where the fruit of only one tree was forbidden. But they ate of that fruit. And that first sin separated all people from their loving Creator. It was then that God knew He must send a Savior. This Savior came to a world that did not know Him even though the words of many prophets had foretold his coming. One prophet said, A star shall come forth from Jacob, and a scepter shall rise from Israel. Another said, As for you, Bethlehem, from you one will go forth to be ruler in Israel. Still another said, A virgin will be with child and bear a son, and she will call his name Emmanuel.
favorite celebration. We love it. Every year we spend months getting ready, shopping for just the right gifts, cooking all our favorite dishes, putting up the tree. Then everybody starts counting down the days. I got down our Christmas scrapbook last night. Looking through those pictures is like watching the kids grow up in front of your eyes. There's the year Annie sang a solo in kids' choir at church. And the year we got Scout as a puppy in Eric's stocking. There's Granddad telling the Christmas story every year with a different child on his knee. So many happy memories. Excited, kiddo. Granddad, you know I am. This is the most exciting night of all. Did you ever think about how exciting it must have been on that night in Bethlehem when a little baby who would change the world was getting ready to be born? Tell the story again, Granddad, please. In those days, King Caesar had made a law that said that everyone had to pay taxes in the city of his birth. 
That meant that Joseph had to travel a long way from Nazareth, where he lived, to Bethlehem, where he had been born. And his wife Mary traveled with him, even though she was going to have a baby. And that long trip was very hard on her. When they arrived, there was not a single empty room left for them to rent. But what could they do? It was late, and they didn't know a soul in Bethlehem. Finally, the innkeeper let them stay in his stable, and there they settled down for the night. Now, I expect most people in Bethlehem thought it was going to be just an ordinary night, but in that ordinary stable, something wonderful was just about to happen. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. 
and Mary gave birth to her firstborn child, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger. In the same area, there were some shepherds staying out in the fields, watching over their flock that night. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terribly frightened. And the angel said to them, Don't be afraid, for I bring you good news of a great joy for all the people. Today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there appeared with the one angel thousands of other angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. Oh
quite clear that glorious song of old from angels bending near the earth to touch their hearts of gold peace on the earth good will to men from hands all gracious a world in solemn stillness lay to hear the angels sing, singing hallelujah, Christ the Savior is born. Promised one 
Over. 
Christmas, we celebrate the amazing love that came into the world long before a holy infant was born in Bethlehem. The love of Christmas is the same love that was here in the beginning, and it's the love that stretches through eternity. When you open your heart and receive Christ, you receive that love. You receive the one who came as an infant, lived as a man, died as a savior, and rose as an eternal redeemer. He's the one who is here right now, loving you with his eternal love. To grasp this is to understand that Christmas is forever, for it was in God's heart all along. As God's children, we can step outside the bounds of time to celebrate our Savior's birth with every other believer who has gone before us. With each Christmas that passes, another page is turned as we await His second coming. Then every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord forever. From the ends of the earth Yeah.